Good morning, you guys. It's just one of those days, or one of those weeks, I should say. I've just been home like every single day with the baby because my husband works um, Monday through Friday. He has like Tuesdays off. We also, I mean, he works from home on Tuesdays, but usually he has things to do. And uh, my in-laws just left also. They were with us for two weeks and it was so nice to have someone around and be with the baby that I'm just like learning and getting back into the swing of things. Please don't mind how I look. I <laughs> will be getting ready for the day shortly. That's part of like a routine I'm trying to establish to feel better and not get into like a rut and yeah. And I figured if I vlog and film it and document it, if I do vlogs, maybe it will kind of give me some more motivation and kind of be like a hobby again something to do because I'm currently working very little. She wants and she's like, you know what? I think I want to offer coaching, which wasn't what she like had planned to do initially. And she emailed her. Mm -hmm. And I always know, Tyler told me, was it a few weeks ago, right at the beginning of Vlogmas, I was going through it. and. I'm going to show you the skincare I've been loving lately. Um, this Anua Heart Leaf Toner. This is the Korean brand. It's so freaking good, you guys. It, like, soothes the skin. Um, and I've been applying it, like, straight on my face after just putting it in my hands. So I do that every morning and night. This morning, I'm also going to follow up with this Ren Brightening Eye Cream. I'm not sure if I like it yet. Still kind of testing it out. I've used up quite a bit, though. And then for today, I'm going to follow up with this moisturizer, also from Anua. It's calming. I really, really like it. It's not too greasy. And my sunscreen of the day, I'm going to be using this up. It's basically almost empty. So I sort of got ready for the day. I'm about to do my makeup. I put the baby down for a nap. She's going to nap for probably like 30 minutes to an hour, so I don't have much time, but I'm just wearing my Abercrombie sweatshirt and some Lululemon leggings. Also, this is the diaper bag that I use. It's from Dagny Dover. I got it in the color black. Honestly, I freaking love it so far, and I got this little pouch off Timo. Um, and there I keep like diapers and like extra clothes. And then we have these two onesies. I kind of want to return them. That's why I have them in there. And then we have some wipes, the bag for dirty clothes that it comes with, a changing pad that it comes with, a cup holder that it comes with. It also comes with a little pouch. It comes with a lot of stuff, to be honest with you, and some extra wipes. So, and I recently started to do combo feeding with my baby, like 80% breast milk and 20% formula. So I'm very, very new to formula feeding, but I got this off of Amazon and I put some formula in there. Um, the one that I use is, it's called Holly, H-O-L-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. I did extensive research on formula and was very, very hesitant to give it to her. But honestly, sometimes like after pumping and feeding her so much, my milk supply would be so low um in moments where we have to like leave the house that's what happened one day and that's when I kind of gave in because it's just the convenience factor and I did a lot of research and I stopped on this formula I'll show you the box in a little bit but I got this off Amazon I will link it down below to get for to have formula on the go and then it comes with a little like thing at the top like at the top it looks like this so you can just like pour the formula comfortably out into a bottle so i'm just throwing that in there along with her bottle this is the komotomo bottle honestly i don't recommend the nipple is like long and she can't really like suck with like an open wide mouth like she would on a breast so i don't like these but i already had them so i'm just using them i ordered some new ones and i'm gonna put another bottle with me to go as well i just have to clean another bottle but so I wanted to show you the diaper bag and also the baby woke up, so we didn't get much done. Thought I was going to sit down and do my makeup, but here we are instead. With my baby in the back, let's do the quickest makeup ever. I just need to do a little something. I don't know why my cheeks are red. She woke up from her nap and I didn't have time to get ready so here we are i also need to pump before we head out for the day so i need to do that and i'm also getting hungry it's just like a million things i feel like hopefully we'll get all of that done today i'm just doing a little bit of the jane irondale concealer on my skin i think i want to do 
Oh, yes. I got the lighter version of the um, Superstay Skin Tint. I got the 112 before and it was just a little too dark for me. So I got this one, which is a little bit lighter and it's going to be my perfect shade, I think. If you guys have not tried this, this is the most incredible thing I've tried in 2023. Literally, hands down, best thing ever. So we'll do that today. I forgot I got it. I'm so happy. Because I was like, oh, it's fine. I'll just like keep the 112. Because like it works. But it just wasn't like my perfect match, you know? Are you talking? She's like starting to make little noises and stuff. She's two and a half months old now. She started to smile already. She laughed last week or the week before. My husband's parents were visiting us. And she laughed with them for the first time, literally like out loud, laughing at two months. I cried because, I don't know, it was like her first time. I was like, what the heck? I was not expecting that. Yeah, this is literally my perfect match. I really don't understand why my cheeks are red today. Okay, extra concealer is needed today. My under eyes are like screaming for help. So normally I do cream, bronzer, and blush like day to day. It's like my favorite way of applying blush and bronzer lately i don't know why i have a lot of products blushes and bronzers that are cream but today i feel like doing powders i have some powder bronzers i haven't touched in quite some time so i just want to use that today she's being such a good girl not crying and just entertaining herself by looking at the ceiling by the way i'm using the one size Powder. okay for bronzer i think i want to try the house labs i've had this for quite a bit i remember i tried to use it a while back and i was not a fan mm, but it's been a while so let's try this again maybe it depends on like the brush that you use or you have to be more light-handed but i remember it was quite patchy when i used it last today is a hair wash day so ignore that i did what i could with some dry shampoo it's not looking so bad what do you guys think be bad maybe you just have to be more light-handed with it and use like a fluffier brush i think for myself this is the only blush i own and this is mocha by mac um the only blush i own in powder i think so I went through like a makeup purge. This is my favorite like go-to color. I've used it for so long and I still have not hit pan. How is that possible? I do not know. I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of mascara, a little bit of like a crease color, like a brown in the crease and then be done. For mascara, I'm gonna be using Milani Anti-Gravity. I've been loving this one so much. And then probably a lip oil on my lips. And I got this recently. It's the fat oil from NYX. Mine is in the shade Mist Call. Super pink. It's my second time using it. It has a lot of color payoff. Wow. And smells, ugh, smells really good. Really like a s pleasant, sweet smell. Quite bright. I don't know. This is the only shade they had. They were like sold out. So, and it's not sticky, which I like. And it smells good. So, anyways, that's my makeup for today. And I'm gonna, I'm waiting for my friend actually because me and her baby and my baby were gonna go do a little bit of shopping. We're not even just shopping, just kind of like just get out of the house and do something. Okay, quick pump session. I'm gonna feed the baby and then we're gonna head out. Getting a little milk. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'll get three ounces, I hope. Wow, you guys, I feel like I made the impossible happen. I got out of the house with my two-month-old by myself. And it took quite the preparation, let me tell you. I have her diaper bag here. She's in the back. Today, no, it's not the first time I'm getting out of the house, but it's definitely the first time me getting out of the house with her since like my husband went back to work and like me trying to establish a routine and since my in-laws left I, I have to do it because otherwise i'm gonna go crazy staying home every single day like it's not healthy for me or the baby so yeah i am currently driving i have quite a few errands to run i don't think i'm gonna be able to get all of them done today but i'm meeting with my friend as i mentioned before i'm going to uh my mechanic right now i need to drop off a payment and then i'm going to our little like shopping plaza to meet with my friend 
and we're gonna get lunch together with our babies because I'm super hungry and so is she and then we will hopefully the rain is gonna stop and we're gonna walk around the shopping plaza and we'll go from there but I feel accomplished and I feel proud of myself for getting out of the house hopefully this will be a routine I can stick to it's kind of hard like doing that when it's the winter months you know because you have to get them dressed it's cold you can't really be outside but that's all right we're in january now and the warmer months are coming so it'll get easier we made it out <sighs> We got some boba tea Ooh. at a local boba tea place and it's bomb. Oh shit. We also got some groceries. Very accomplished today. Okay you guys, Loki, that was the most productive I've felt in a long time. We ended up going on a walk. We got lunch and then I went to the grocery store with her as well. We picked up some groceries that she needed and that I needed <laughs> and uh, now I'm going to her house baby girl did so well I successfully gave, gave her her first formula out I never like had to like put a bottle together like while I was out it was the first time I did that and she drank it but I think she's definitely tired of being in her car seat to be honest with you so I need to get her out of there but the car seat I have, it's actually from Cybex and it's the Cloud G something and it's actually an extendable one. You know how babies are not supposed to be in the car seat for a long time so this car seat actually reclines back so she is able to be in a laying down a flat position and it's not so horrible for their spine to be in a car seat for so long so I don't feel so bad being out with her because I can do that and I can like extend her car seat and she is like laying down. So I don't know why I started telling you that. Oh, that I wanna get her out of the car seat. So that is what we're doing now and it's 3.30 already. So I feel like that this day has flown by and I feel so much better like mentally um, because I got myself out of the house. Like yesterday, for example, I was home by myself all day and I, literally was on the couch with her all day like we didn't do anything and well partially because it was like super super cold and super super windy because we had a snowstorm like the day before but like at the end of the day I just like don't feel the best so I feel better today what I was saying is that of course it's a hassle being out with your newborn and you know it's more difficult in case they get like cranky and stuff like that but it's like i have to like kind of remind myself almost that like life goes on and i have to like do the things i want to do and go the places that i want to go to with her like i have to take her with me and i can't just like put life on hold and like sit on the couch with her every day as i said before that's not good for the baby and that's not good for the parents either so I'm doing my best over here my friend's baby he is seven months old now and I'm still noticing the same like pattern with him you know they get impatient they get hungry like and stuff like that so because my my uh, two month old she's she's not uh, like sleeping every like all day anymore like you know how newborns are they sleep all day she's awake and alert and she wants to look around and you have to entertain her a little bit, so that's where we're at now. I'm actually going to the gym now for the first time since I've had my baby, and um, super random because my friend works out consistently, and she asked me if I wanted to go, and my husband got home in time, so I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna pump real fast, so she has some milk, and then I'm gonna leave. Kind of nervous because I haven't worked out in literally like a year, over a year. 